it starts with what's become a familiar scene in Seattle. <laughs> Phoenix Jones, the city's most prolific superhero, complete with a full body costume, running to help others. Jones says he thought it was a fight and tried to break it up. The whole scene is being captured by Ryan McNamee, a documentary videographer who's been following Jones for the last eight months. Um, he kept repeatedly saying, call 911, someone give me 911. Let's see, he used, he did use uh, spray, but only when things were out of control. McNamee says the crowd Jones thought he was helping turned on him. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And it's Jones' use of pepper spray that police say led to his arrest for assault. <laughs> putting the superhero on the other side of the law. You are accountable for your actions, so you have to be able to defend whatever action you take, and, and that applies to, to everybody. Jones is the most public face of a group of vigilante crime stoppers in Seattle. He says what he did was legal and that there are a few police officers who have a grudge against him. And when the police arrived, they didn't even ask for my, my own statement. They kind of just dismissed us. In the police report about the incident, the officer wrote that Jones has had a history of injecting himself in these incidents. Recently, there have been increased reports of citizens being pepper sprayed by Jones and his group, adding that Jones has been advised to observe and report incidents to 911. He continues to try to resolve things on his own. Jones says that police took his mask and costume after the arrest, but says he has a backup and vowed to be back on patrol. Matt Small, The Associated Press.